let's wait for those men to pass by us. Don't make a sound. As she led me through a heavily wooded forest, we'd encountered a shrine. This is a new background, actually. A Shinto shrine located at the base of Mount Fushimi Inari. It is the head shrine of all the Inari shrines throughout Japan. I stopped to glance around, looking at the incense resting on the staircase to confirm what I'd seen. Yeah, I'm like, I don't remember there being a shrine or a mountain near uh, Yodo Castle. Um, where are we? I thought we were heading for the Yodo Castle. Yodo Castle? What are you talking about? Didn't I tell you I wanted to go to Yodo Castle? Back then, she'd nodded firmly. I appreciated her help, but I couldn't think of why she'd bring me here. I watched her with a suspicious eye, and she grinned as if to play it off as a misunderstanding. Reveal yourself, brother. <laughs> Forget about that place. Someone here is waiting for you. Huh? All I was asked to do was to take you here. Out of the shadows emerged the figure of a man from the shrine's entrance. Is it Cosma or Dad? It's Dad! We're really... Wow! I didn't think we'd actually get to see Dad in this game, but we are. What a twistiness of fate. Ugh. Oh, it's been a long time, Chizuru. My, how beautiful you've become. In front of me... Stood my father, for whom I'd spent four years searching. Father? Is that really you? Yes, child, it really is me. My apologies for waiting so long to contact you. No, now that I've seen you, I'm just glad to see you're safe. But what are you doing here? Where were you all this time? Father's expression became glum. His eyes tenderly gazed into mine. It was my fault for not sending you a letter after all this time. You see, I was taken captive to some place far, far away. Taken captive? The horrible image of someone taking my father as a prisoner made me flinch. But Father continued on, describing his journey without going into great detail. I have come looking for you. I was so worried. What if you were caught up in all this needless violence and someone were to hurt you? Father... So I had Nagamo here help me since I'd heard the two of you were acquainted. Now I finally understood why Kaoru revealed nothing to me. You think you do. I see. Kaoru, I wish you told me this in the beginning. I couldn't help it. I just wanted to see how you'd react. Sorry. Please, don't be. Thank you for letting me see my father. I thanked Kaoru sincerely from the bottom of my heart before turning to face father. Now, father, let's go to Yodo Castle. The Shinsengumi has men there, and I'm sure they will keep us safe from the Satsuma Choshu troops. In response, however, my father shook his head slowly. Unfortunately, I have no intention of going to Yodo Castle. Actually, you won't be going either. And there goes the music. Father? Weren't you out west because you were held captive by the Satsuma and Choshu? And now you're here because you've escaped from them, right? Then why don't we go to the Shinsengumi- It is true I was in the west. However, it would not be entirely accurate to say that I've escaped. You see, I have been waiting for the opportune moment to retrieve you for quite some time now. Huh? What do you mean? Are you saying you've known I was in Kyoto this whole time? Well, because you were residing with the Shinsengumi, contacting you proved difficult. Even if I so desired to take you from there, they were watching for me, so I could not do so. And as far as the war goes, I was simply waiting for you to leave the Shinsengumi this whole time. Then why didn't you contact me sooner? 
You knew I was looking for you. See, that is what I am apologizing for. But it was all because I couldn't let them know about us. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you talking about the serum? Ah, so you have learned from the Shinsengumi. I know everything, Father. I know about your experiments with the Water of Life and the Furies on the Shinsengumi. Wait, something felt off. Since everyone had already known about it in the Shinsengumi, it wasn't like he was even trying to keep it a secret. So what was it then? What other secrets could he be hiding? I heard you have met Lord Cosma as well. Ah yes, Lord Cosma. How? How did he know who Cosmo was? If you had only listened to your future husband. <laughs> he told you quite clearly that your dad was with them now. He gave me quite the scolding, that one. Rambling on and on about why I hadn't mentioned to him how you were a demon. Father, what did you just say? You come from a demon lineage, child. You're a demon. Forgive me once more. I was planning on keeping it all secret until preparations were in order. I can probably guess how very confusing this must all sound to you at the moment. I mean, if the Shinsengumi were here to see me, that would be quite the predicament, eh? That is why this was all kept quiet. I shall share with you the details later. Now come with me, child. Your father will be by your side from now on. Father reached his hand for mine, but I could only stare at it. I just couldn't bring myself to grab it. My gut just wouldn't quit. Something felt off. Was this man really my father? I couldn't place exactly what seemed wrong to me, and I sort of froze in place, unable to move. Then, I forced myself to step backwards, and then a tingle crept down my back. I rushed to turn around when I saw him. Hey, you found me! Whew. Okay, I feel a little bit better. <laughs> Ironically enough. I see. This all makes sense to me now. Sanon? Behind me stood Sanon. Although the day was coming to an end, the sun was still out, and Sanon smiled at me faintly before turning to speak with my father. Ah, Sanon, was it? Long time no see. It truly has been quite some time. However, please, do not permit me to interrupt this reunion with your daughter. Oh, don't mind us. With what's going on and all, it couldn't be helped, really. But the sun is still out. Shouldn't you be going inside soon? Must be tough for a fury, isn't it? No need to worry for my sake. Contrary to what you may expect, we have improved now. The subtle tension in their conversation grew as their forced politeness gave way to smarminess. <laughs> they were observing one another. Carefully, I inched myself towards Sanan. Wow. What a what a relationship we've grown. Where we're like, um, I don't trust my father anymore, so I'm gonna side with this crazy fury guy. <laughs> Sanan, why did you come here? I thought I had sensed a little rat sniffing around the Fushimi Magistrate night after night. So I'd been keeping watch this whole time. That's why you were walking around. And I figured I'd follow to see where the Trail of Crumbs would take me. As it goes, this investigation led me to many instances that required the spilling of blood. Then I'd suddenly recalled the sight of Sanon being drenched in blood and gore. So, all the blood on your clothing? Let's just say it was all in the interest of your protection. Really? Really? So, Kodo and that boy there with him. Both of them were after you, Yukimura. Finally, I realized why I was struck with a feeling of unease as my father was speaking. Father, so all this time you knew about me and you just watched? Wait, you said Kaoru is... a boy. You said boy, but Kaoru is a girl. 
I looked at Sana. I'm thinking he'd made some mistake. <laughs> you are so easily deceived. But I suppose that is what is good about you, too. Well, thanks. He smiled without condescension. So, w wait. Then she's... a boy? I rushed to look at Kaoru and she, or should I say he, smiled maliciously towards me. Yes, a boy. Enough with these pleasantries. Just like Kodo, I've come to get you. Whoa, what a transformation! Well, this is the most anime thing that's happened so far in this game. I mean to say that I am your twin brother. In a flash, Kaoru's appearance had shifted to that of a man's. When people told you we'd looked alike, didn't that set off any bells? I, on the other hand, was ecstatic to see you, as if the decade without had suddenly vanished. True, our face and physical attributes resembled one another, but I still couldn't believe it. Wait, how do I know this is for real? Father? Yes, it is true. All of it. Boy, show her the kadachi that I've given you. Most awkward family meetup ever. This is physical proof of the lineage from which you descend, my child. The Yukimura clan. A demon clan. And this is my kadachi, Daiatsurin. Take a good look. It's paired with Shotsurin, the kadachi you hold. These two swords have been handed down each generation of Yukimura. This proves that I am a member of the Yukimura clan, and your brother. So, now that you're up to speed, doesn't it seem a little cruel for Sanon to call me a rat? I mean, if I'm a rat, then he's even lower than that, considering he's spoiling the reunion of a brother and sister. Oh, whoops. Guess I shouldn't waste my time. I mean, since he's a fake after all, huh? Kaoru attempted to provoke Sanon with his vicious words, but Sanon was prepared. Since your appearance was so similar to Yukimura's, I had a hunch the two of you were related, but I never expected her to have an older brother. So, my comment about the rat got under your skin, did it? So your response is to call me a fake. Pardon me for this, but being a fury isn't something of which I am ashamed. Quite the contrary, actually. I'm rather proud of it. Stop with these charades! Ha, that's right! When it comes to snide remarks, no one is more skilled in this than Sanon! Cheese was just cheering in the back going, Woo, go Sanon! <laughs> the snidiest of them all. And it seemed the more Kaoru grew agitated, the more calm Sanon became. With cold eyes, he glared at my father. So, now that I have you before me, Kodo, I would like to ask you something. And what would that be? Five years ago, why had you dropped everything and left the Shinsengumi without a word? Father stroked his chin for a second, offering his answer at his own pace. Quite simple, really. Since the root of my experiments had ended with the Shinsengumi, I'd expanded my ambitions. See, there were many folks out west more willing to give me money to fund my experiments. So I went there. The protagonist's father has been researching the creation of furies for the Satsuma and Choshu clans. Gasp! So in other words, you sold us out and we were nothing but test subjects to you. In other words, the Shogun had only looked at the Roshigumi as test fodder for the fury experiment. That's all. The indifference in my father's voice was unbelievably frustrating. He showed no remorse. What? That cannot be excused! How could you ever think that was okay? Whether you like it or not, you're all just a bunch of disposable Ronin. I did the world a favor by experimenting on you all. Father, I... I can never come to forgive you! Father acknowledged the rage in my voice, but instead of talking to me, he continued with Sanon. Well, thanks. So, 
Are you going to hold a grudge against me too, Sanan? Her words are exactly what I would have said. His support gave me so much confidence, knowing that for the first time he'd agreed with me. <laughs> I may cry. This seemed to have taken Father aback by surprise, but he grinned nonetheless. Oh, that face. Bah, I'm not asking for your forgiveness. Sanon, how would you feel if I told you that I can cure the Fury side effects? A truly enticing offer, but what are you expecting as compensation in return? I, I really don't like that face at all. Ah, uh, right to the point you are. It saves us more time. It's simple. Give me my daughter. Father spoke with no expression on his face, and Sanon closed his eyes, sighing. I'm going to... I'm expecting it, but I'm still going to be very impressed. To have Sanon be like, no. I'll figure it out myself, because now at least I know that there is a way to cure the side effects. So bleh. Father spoke with no expression on his face, and Sanon closed his eyes, sighing. <sighs> In the Shinsengumi's Rules of Conduct, there is a section dictating that we cannot make any litigation agreements without prior approval. As I am sure you understand, I serve as Colonel, which means it would be inappropriate for me to violate such a rule. So, should I interpret this as a breakdown of negotiations? The tone of Father's voice dropped. Then, right after... Oh my. Well... My brother is a nutcase. You're too easy. Both of you! Kaoru shrieked wildly, lunging his sword as he charged at Sanon. Oh, yes! Best picture ever. We are a team now. Although I am now a fury, you would be wise to never underestimate Keisuke Sanon. Colonel of the Shinsengumi. Ugh. You fury scum. You're just a fake. Stop acting so tough. It troubles that you would think of me as a fake, but I proudly accept the title as Fury. Confidence radiated from Sanan's voice as he shot down Kaoru's attempt at provocation. It was as if he were proud to carry the burden of the Shinsengumi. Yukimura, stay close to me. Okay. I leaned into Sanan, who pulled me close to him as I nodded firmly. I like that Sanan's the first guy to not be like, um, if you could run away so that you're not underfoot while I'm trying to fight, that would be great. He's like, um, I'll have one arm around my girl and the other arm on my sword, and I can do this blindfolded too if you'd like. <laughs> Sanan's amazing. Sanan, release my little sister! The Shinsengumi has promised to protect her. As Colonel, I will do whatever it takes to keep this promise. I said release her! No, I won't! As Sanan swung with his whole weight behind his sword, Kaoru's blade met with his and produced a gleaming flash between them. Having trouble, brother? <laughs> Kaoru, perhaps taken by surprise and seeing Sanon's strength, backed away slowly from him. How interesting. How about a proposition? As in, the two of you should retreat while you can. You sure have a big mouth. You seriously think you can take me out? Kodo. Can I just kill these guys already? He's starting to piss me off. He and Okito are really getting under my skin! No, boy. He is living proof of a successful Fury experiment. I want to examine him further. Sanan listened to them speak about him, and I watched as his face grew more irate. Do you mean to say you were going easy on me? Well, I had no idea I was so easily underestimated. Then, please, show me what the true power of a demon is. No... If Sanon and Kaoru were to use their true strength, their blood would be undoubtedly spilled. Father!
Father, please stop! Kauru, I mean you! You too! I have no intention to leave with you, Father. So please, no more fighting. Kauru listened to my wishes, watching me with surprise, perhaps in my attempt to speak out. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Chizuru? We came all the way here for you! Wh why Why wouldn't you come with us? Then something seemed to enter his mind, and suddenly his demeanor changed. Ah, I see. I get it. They're manipulating you, aren't they? Him and Okita, too! Watch. Your brother is going to... save you. Boy, it is time for us to go now. Surely, Chizuru needs time to process all this, and she can't make a decision in this state. To my complete surprise, it was Father who stopped Kaoru from making a final charge. What? If we strike now, we could... Let us go home, boy. Understood? Ugh. Kaoru was peeved by this order, and it seemed at any second he would snap to Father, but... Finally, he sheathed his sword, never removing his glare towards us. He's got some issues with Okida to work out. Father, however, was unfazed by his petulant display, and he spoke calmly to Sanon. Sanon, aren't you interested in expanding the potential of the Furies even further? Doesn't the possibility of doing research with me thrill you? You of all people know how difficult Fury research can be alone. Together, we can achieve things that you can only dream of. Sanon lightly shook his head. No reaction came from Father, though. He simply stared back at Sanon, fixing his gaze. The two looked at one another, implicitly realizing how different the two of them were in their paths. Finally, the silence was broken by Sanon, who had one more question for Father. One more question, if I may. Is there a future for the Furies? Well, I suppose that is entirely up to you. Very well, Sanon. Why don't you take this into consideration for our next meeting? I hope to hear some good news from you. Father smiled peacefully, then turning to face me. Goodbye, Chizuru. I will come for you another day. Then I saw the same smile from him as he'd shown me when he left me alone in Edo. What a piece of work. He beckoned Kaoru to follow him, the latter still fuming to himself, and they departed. I made no attempt to see where they went, because I was 10,000% done. Father, after all this time, I found you. Why did it have to be like this? I truly believe that you were a good doctor, Father. One who worked to help others. I thought that you'd be the one to help the Shinsengumi in a time like this. Sorrow and rage began to overwhelm me, and my eyes burned from how badly I wanted to cry. I felt tears welling up. Then, Sanon spoke up. If these answers are what you seek, then you will surely see him again. Why don't you try asking him for yourself? If this is what you desire, I will help you. Really, Sanon? Of course, I too have many questions for Kodo in the future. With each thing Sanon had said, I found myself nodding over and over again. It came to a point that Sanon gave an uneasy laugh as he tried to stop me. Could you please stop nodding? <laughs> Yukimura, it is time to return. Everyone is worried about where you are, I'm sure. Okay. Sanon and I left for Yoda, where we'd expected the Shinsengumi would be waiting for us. Not to be, though. And now it's the final chapter. What a crazy showdown that was. I can't believe that happened. Actually, before we get into this final chapter, I just realized I forgot to look up <laughs> um, our bloominess. And I, 
I think it's safe to say that we're at full bloom based on how well things how well things went. Yeah, full bloom. Okay. For my own sanity, I had to know. <laughs> okay, but now we can get into the wrap up here, I guess, after that crazy showdown. Uh, I didn't. Okay. Good. Right, we were going to Yodo Castle. However, as we drew closer to the fortress, we noticed a major change. The Satsuma Choshu troops had displayed the gold brocade flag there, which was an official symbol reserved for the true Imperial Army. This changed the face of the war totally. Both the Tosa and Saga domains were in the west of the country, both of them, too, allied with the Satsuma Choshu in their fight against the Shogunate. A non-Takagawa domain located in Saga of the Hizen pro province headed by the Nabashima clan. It is also known as Hizen Domain or Nabashima Domain. Domains who had previously stayed on the fence or remained neutral began to support the Imperial Army. The Owari and Yodo Domains, longtime allies of the Shogunate, had also defected to join the growing forces in the Satsuma Choshu side. Before we knew it, we were alone in our fight, and the Shogunate Army was forced to retreat. However, the biggest problem within the Shogunate army itself. When news of the Satsuma Choshu troop becoming the official Imperial Army hit, it almost and most affected our Supreme Commander, Lord Yoshinobu Takagawa. I had heard that when he was told, he escaped Osaka Castle and fled immediately on a ship to Edo. Fearing a treasonous uprising and a possible threat to his life, he hid in Edo for protection. Because of the loss of their leader, the Shinsengumi couldn't keep Osaka Castle as their stronghold. When Sanan and I reunited with the Shinsengumi in Osaka Castle, we were informed of all of this. It was already decided, however, that the Shinsengumi was ordered to retreat per Edo too. I'm sure the decision was difficult for Hijikata. Oh yeah. After boarding our ship for Edo, I was told that Yamazaki was in critical condition. Oh no, don't, let, don't make me watch this again. Since I was the only medic aboard the ship that could tend to the wounded, I watched over Yamazaki. His injury, however, had gotten far worse than I could give him treatment for. Aura. Yukimura. Are... you there? Yes, I'm here. What's the matter? Are you in pain? No. Please, call the commander. Wait, no. I I'd like to discuss something with Colonel Sanon. Can you p please call him? <gasps> for him to ask for Sanon of all people in his condition meant, oh no. I wouldn't recommend it. Are you sure? Yes. Please. I've made up my mind. Are we actually gonna get Fury Yamazaki and Sanon's root? I don't have to watch him die again? I scurried out of the room, rushing to find Sanon so that I could honor Yamazaki's wishes. I wasn't sure at all if this was the right thing to do, but I mean, it's his choice. He should honor his request. Even if it's his last. Yeah. If this was Yamazaki's final wish, I can do nothing but honor it. If anything, this frantic desire to help was what pushed me to call Sanon. Sanon, who'd gone to fetch a vial of Water of Life, entered Yamazaki's room soon after. Yamazaki, do you recognize me? Yamazaki! Yamazaki, Sanon's here. Yamazaki? Yamazaki! Oh. Man, we were too late, really? No, Yamazaki, I thought we were gonna save you, finally! Yamazaki, whose breathing was strained and staggered only moments ago, was very quiet. Yamazaki! Please, open your eyes! He would looked like he'd fallen asleep. Instinctively, I checked for his pulse. After a moment, I shook my head at Sanon. Gosh darn it, my hopes were so high for a second and now they've been crushed. This is worse than the last time he died. It seems as though we were too late. 
The water of life can only do so much, and it cannot revive the dead. If only I had known sooner. Yamazaki was just asking for you a second ago. I am certain as he grew weary from the approach of death, the serum was his final choice. Yamazaki. No matter how many times his name left my mouth, his eyes remained shut. It was a quiet end for him, at least. Like... He's sleeping. The Shinsengumi lost many close friends in this war. I, too, lost both Inoue and Yamazaki, who'd both died right in front of me. Inoue... As the night passed, I tossed and turned in my futon, unable to sleep with the thoughts of my dead friends haunting me. I headed for the deck to get some fresh air. Oh. I stopped myself, seeing someone I didn't expect to see. Oh, hello. You look absolutely beautiful in the moonlight. Having trouble sleeping as well, are you? Yes, I mean, what was the Yamazaki passing and all? You too, Sanan? His passing disturbs me indeed, but... I am a fury. The night time is my daytime. Oh, you're right, huh? Over the past few days, I had spent most of my time with Sanan while the sun was still out, so it sort of slipped my mind. Sanan quietly fixed his gaze towards the stars. Another lost comrade. In the way, Yamazaki. If I had been beside them, I might have been able to prevent their passing. Because I was incapable, the two of them. Watching Sanan so distressed in front of me gave me the same feeling of dread as when I'd seen Yamazaki die before my very eyes. I feel like I understand where you're coming from, Sanan. Usually... I'm against using the serum. But for those who wish to keep their lives, for those with life still left to live, that serum, the water of life, it could just be someone's last hope. Or at least, that's what I think now. Thank you, Yukimura. I am positive that war will continue for the Shinsengumi. And I do not wish to see any more of my comrades lose their lives. Although you may not like this, I... will continue to research the Water of Life. My heart tells me I should stop him, but I can't. I don't think I'll ever be able to change the way I feel about it, no matter how much time passes. Go inside now. Please, let me be out here with you for just a moment longer, Sanan. And... I want to see what comes next with you, Sanan. Of course. You can stay as long as you would like. Sanan smiled kindly, a smile I hadn't seen in a very long time, and I nodded to him. I will continue beside Sanan for as long as he lets me, <laughs> even after we return to Edo. This is the vow I made to myself. Wow. As long as he doesn't send me away, I'll stick. I'm gonna stick with him. Whew. Wow. That was... I think... Like, that was definitely the most interesting route we've had in quite a while. I really, really enjoyed Sanan's route. We got so much story, plus... I was not expecting my brother and my dad, of all people, to show up in Sanan's room? What the hecky hey? And... Wow, my brother was so we He's got like this weird grudge with Okita still. I wonder... Why that is. I mean, it makes sense when we were on Soji's route. But then in this one, he's like determined to save his sister instead of causing her pain? Unless, like, his idea of saving her is to, like, bring her over to their side and then cause her pain then. I don't know. I'm... I'm confused by Kaoru's motives. I don't know if they change all the time, or... 
if there's still more to find out. I'm really, really, really curious where this is gonna go in the second game. And uh, Sanon didn't actually end up being as terrifying as I thought he was going to be. He actually was pretty mellow and awesome. This scene, the fight scene, my favorite. My absolute favorite for no other reason than they were both like, well, F all you guys and your stupid demon politics. <laughs> we're a team. And uh, Sanon wasn't like, I need you out of my way, otherwise I'm going to kill you in the crossfire. He's like, no, nah, this is fine. You know, stick as close as possible. I can have my arm around you and with the other arm fight off all the bad guys. That's totally fine. That was amazing. That was the best. And he didn't actually have to become a fury. It was daytime? And he didn't activate his fury powers to fight off her brother. That was incredible. It was just, mwah. Perfection. What kind of epilogue do I get this time, game? January 1868. The Battle of Tobafushimi ended with the Satsuma and Choshu victorious. As the shogunate troops retreated, the Shinsengumi headed towards Edo. Four years ago, I came to Kyoto all by myself in search for my father and met the Shinsengumi. I am going to leave the city of Kyoto, where I made fond memories with the Shinsengumi. Although he challenges me in ways I couldn't ever expect, I have chosen to walk alongside him. Because I like to suffer? <laughs> we are going to head to Edo, without knowing what fate awaits us. That line. That line is great! <laughs> Although I don't really understand why? And he does stuff that I am morally against. He's hot! <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with him. <laughs> that was amazing. I don't know. I... Sanon bread and curry. Ha ha, Sanon bread and curry. That's the worst joke ever. <laughs> Oh man, I I loved it. I loved everything. It was great. Good. Excellent. I want more. Give me give me more sun on and curry. I want I want it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to continue his route. He's he's pretty high up on my list. I don't know where. Oh man, I gotta like rethink all my lists again. I don't even know what my list is anymore. Yeah, I gotta think about that. Sanon's got me... Challenged me to rethink my list. <laughs> but anyway, that was Case K Sanon's route. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now we've got two more endings with him. We've got his unrequited love ending and his bad ending. So those might be a little rough to get through. We'll see. We'll find out. Anyway, if you'd like to join me for those, I hope I'll see you there, guys. Until next time, I will see you later.